Hello guys, it's Crafty Fox, and today we're going to be building the Redline RTA Rapid Transit Subway Type Cars, manufactured by Tokyo Car Corporation in 1985. This uses overhead lines and pantographs to draw power, and it's in very, very small train sets, so I've seen videos where it's just like a pair like this. And it operates in Cleveland, Ohio, running between the Cleveland Hopkins Airport to Tower City in downtown Cleveland. And this is a commission by Amtrak to EMD, so thanks to him for making this video possible. And basically in this train set, it is the same exact car, just built twice. And both of the pantographs are raised, so you don't have to lower one of them. Uh, but yeah, let's get started. So first off, we're going to grab some materials. Take out polished anisite slab, a block, a stairs, a brick slab, blackstone brick slab, nether brick stairs, black concrete, dark oak fence gate, and a dark oak trap door. So uh, for this build, we're just building one half first. So add in a nether brick stairs, top the tracks, and we're gonna add it so that it's two blocks wide. Add upside down on the side. In the middle, we'll add a brick block. Sticking out will be a black stone brick slab and a dark oak trap door underneath. Then to the side, we'll add in a polished andesite slab and then a brick slab. Then we'll make two blocks wide polished andesite blocks. And we'll add polished andesite stairs facing each other. And another two facing each other above. So that we have this square shape. At the top, we'll add polished andesite block and a stairs to the side. Then the middle, we'll add slab. And then a slab underneath here as well. Then we'll go down below here, add polish and a site slab right after that other slab. Then we'll add black concrete in the middle, make it six blocks long. So one, two, three, four, five, and six. We'll add an additional black concrete row next to it, right behind the slab all the way. So it's the same length. Then we will add on the top part, polished and site slab, four blocks long. Then in the middle, we'll add in a black concrete and stone brick blocks right next to it and after it all the way to the edge here. Then on top of this, we'll add a light gray carpet and a stone button diagonal to that. Then in the middle, that's going to be a um, polish and a site slab right there, red concrete behind it, and then two blocks tall black concrete. Then we'll add polish and a site slab at the top of the bottom of this. So behind this, we'll make two blocks tall black concrete, polish and a site slab, top to bottom. Next to it, polish and a site slabs, two blocks tall like that. Then at the bottom, we'll add two blocks long stone brick. Then we'll need the doorway, so that's going to be an site wall, two blocks long. Then we'll add polish and site stairs, so that they're all facing the same direction. And the inside of this will be polish and site blocks behind the walls. Next, we'll add stone brick block right after the wall. And then we're going to make it so it's, uh, I would say, 10 blocks long. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. Then we'll add polish and insight block, two blocks tall in the back. Then we'll go back here, add in a polish and insight stairs, two blocks long. Polish, actually, an acacia stair slab and a polished blackstone stairs upside down. Like that. It's going to be the RTA logo, and we'll have polished and a site block right behind it. And then on the outer edge, another one here. And we'll add in polished and a site stairs at the bottom, slab, 
stairs, slab, stairs, slab, stairs, and then slab. And then we'll add in the reverse part, the upper part of it, making these windows. Then on the top part, we'll add polish and say slabs all the way across. Next, we'll add in and a site wall two blocks long and polish and a site behind it. Then we'll add polish and a site stairs so that they are all facing the front. Side will add polish and a site slabs. All right, then we'll work. Down over here, add polish and say slabs all the way across the side underneath. All the way to that last block right there. Then the inside of all these um, windows will add in black concrete so they are blacked out. Then in um, this middle area, there's going to be polish and say slab, and that will be 18 blocks long. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, like that. Then we'll add black concrete, so it's six blocks long. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6, like that. Then in the front of that is going to be a brick block. Like that. Add in our nether brick stairs at the bottom two blocks wide and then upside down on the edge. Alright, so let's go back over here, add in, extend this stone brick block on the roof, all the way to the back, like that. Then we'll add a stone button right here next to that window. And what else can we do with this? Then we'll grab a chain block, spruce fence gate, birch fence gate, acacia button, and an end rod, and also dark oak fence gate. So we'll add in the chain blocks, two blocks tall in the side, acacia button to the side, birch fence gate, open that up, add a dark oak fence gate underneath. In the middle, there will be one spruce fence gate, open that up. And we'll add in an end rod so it's facing toward the inside like that very marvelous once we've done all of that let's add in the bogey so let's go down here we'll add in dark oak fence gate here open that up towards the plow and then we'll add in another fence gate open that up towards the back then we'll grab our gray terracotta dark oak button and fence gate as well as a nether brick slab which is kind of hard to grab so let's go right here add in the wheel which is a gray terracotta then we'll add in two nether brick slabs another gray terracotta dark oak buns to the sides of the wheels dark oak fence gate back of the wheel open that up inside the bogey we'll add four blocks long of nether brick slabs like that Then we'll go on the outside, we'll add two dark oak fence gates, open the one on the right, that's closest to the middle. Stone brick wall above it, and to the left of it, an upside down polish and sight stairs. Once we've completed that, what we're going to do, we're going to copy that, what we did in the front. So this is, this right here is pretty much the middle, so everything right over here, all the way to this front area, that's going to be built the opposite way over here. Alright, so once we have both sides, we'll go off to this end here in the back, and we'll delete this button and add in two spruce buttons instead. Then we'll go in the middle, add in a dark oak button next to the door, stone button in the front, and then we'll go on the roof, and we will add stone brick slab, so it's going to be adjacent to the stairs, three blocks long. And then we'll add in two levers facing inside. 
flower pot inside here, stone brick slab, birch uh, fence gate, and iron trap door. So it's going to be at the top of the bottom of this. Then dangling up, a birch fence gate, and two iron trap doors, and a birch fence gate. Open that up on the side of it. That's going to be our panned graph. Next, we'll move down over here and we'll delete the slab. Add in another brick stairs upside down instead. Inside, we'll add in another brick slab, middle. Then we'll go in the front. We'll add in a gray concrete on the outer edge with a polished blackstone slab underneath. Then we'll go underneath the middle door. Add in three blocks long bedrock and smooth stone slabs underneath. Alright, so once we've done that, that is all we can do on this side. So we'll copy what we did on this side and build the other half. Alright, so once we've done both sides, let's go on to this corner here. Add in, in case you sign up there. We'll say something like red line. Then we'll go underneath uh, this acacia slab, add in a warp button. Then we'll go on the other corner here, add acacia sign here, upper left, and a warp button underneath this acacia slab like that. Okay, so next we'll work on the bottom. So let's go on to this side. Go right here. We'll add in cyan terracotta. Skip block, add one, skip a block, add one. Then we will add stone brick stairs upside down facing towards this middle one, both sides. Then we'll add polish and site slab and then two smooth stone blocks. Go to the back of this, add gray concrete, polish and site slab, and then four gray concretes. Polish and site slab. Underneath here we'll add three blocks long of black stone brick slabs like that. Then we'll move up to the other side. So on this side we'll add in three blocks long gray concrete, two black stone brick slabs, stone brick stairs, gray concrete, polish and site slab, cyan terracotta with a stone brick slab underneath, polish and site slab, a birch fence gate open that up towards the slab. Polish and a site slab above, and four blocks long of cyan terracotta with stone brick slabs underneath this. Then we'll add upside down stone brick stairs and a light gray concrete block. All right, so next we'll go up to this middle door right here with the pillar, and up on the roof we'll add in a lever facing towards the back. And I forgot to say this in the original tutorial, so you'll have to add in this 2x3 of stone. Replace that stone brick block that was here. And add the stone in front of the pantograph area. And that should be pretty much it on how to build the RTA Rapid Transit Red Line Subway Type Cars. And uh, if you guys do want to assemble a train again, you can just build the exact same thing. You don't even have to change the direction I think you just keep it the same like this just put one right behind it uh, but yeah that's pretty much it for the build thanks to Amtrak to EMD for commissions build and making this video possible if you guys do enjoy this video hit the like button down below and the notification bell subscribe if you had already and I'll see you guys in the next one bye